talk obviously about the new signing we've made, which is obviously our new free kick specialist. Now, Jay, I'll come to you for this one first because I'm going to butcher his name. So what do you reckon of our new guy? Does that mean Sonny's going to be on free kicks from now on and not Harry Kane? You just took the words right out of my mouth. As long as it's Harry Kane not putting him into the wall, I don't mind. That man is an absolutely phenomenal footballer, but that one deflected free kick against Aston Villa is just in his head forever. Living on um, it. Living yeah, on he's it. living, living, uh, living for it. Yeah, no, I, I think set pieces are, are some of we, we probably don't get goals enough with since Ericsson's been gone. Um, that real good ball delivery, which Sonny kind of does, but you also want Sonny to be in there and definitely direct free kicks. Uh, I think Sonny's proven uh, his ability uh, with the national team. I think it's important that, you know, and I, I, I like that it shows that Conte's probably said to Daniel, I want this guy, can I have him? And he's given him to him. So it, it again shows, you know, I know, it's not this season, but I feel like this is our all or nothing season because there's a lot of fans that have always moaned about the support that, that the ENIC group give to the club and and how Levy runs the club and all of this. But this season, it seems like they've just gone, well, let's just go all in on it one year. Like you said, Conte's probably not going to stick around. And if it all doesn't work, they'll probably sell the club at the end of the season anyway. So, you know, it's like, you know, just go all in on this season. And, and I think that, just little things like that, signing a coach that Conte wants, it just shows that the club's heading in the right direction. And, you know, Kane talks so much about backing the manager and that being a reason for him staying. I, and I think it's just a, it's another nice sign and it's another place that hopefully we'll get some goals from. Sorry, that what that quote, made, that little thing made me uh, giggle from Darren saying, don't worry, it's Kane's new set-piece coach. It's not for Sonny. Um, but no, I think you're right. And obviously, talking about uh, his name, v I'm just going to say his surname because I've probably said his surname wrong as well. But Vio, talking about Vio, Connor, uh, he did obviously work with uh, Italy in the Euro 2020. So if that's anything to go by, it should be quite interesting. Oh, if it's anything to go by, then we're winning the league, without a doubt, <laughs> I see. <clears throat> no, Jay, Jay makes a really great point, I think. Straight away, that for me says instantly that Conte is getting back, not just on the player front, but on the coaching front as well. And, you know, if you look at our record across set pieces, scoring set pieces, defending set pieces, we, we haven't got a good record. We, we don't score from many set pieces. You know, you might get the odd Sonny versus Watford 1-0, you know, yeah, brilliant. But we, we do not really score set pieces ever since really Ericsson and then... Can, I don't know about the defensive side of things in terms of set pieces, but we love conceding from set pieces as well. So... This can only be a good thing if it's someone that Conte wants. It's always as long as Conte wants them, then why not? But yeah, if it's if the Italy Euro win is anything to go by, then then we're laughing, you know. No, definitely. And like you say, I think like Conor said, crackers. It's not just us scoring from set pieces. It's also the defensive side because we do let a lot of goals in. Not so much last season, but it was pretty much a bit hairy at some times when. Mm. Conte was in the box. Very much Gianni by by the way, Gianni Gianni Vio. <laughs> So uh, apparently, is it seven and a half thousand set pieces or 750 like or seven and a half million set pieces he's got just <laughs> in his head? Come on, just step up and, and, and lever it. Come on, <laughs> just just lever it. man. Just take Kane off of set pieces to start with. All right? Everybody's got a weakness and, and, and that's Kane's. He can't take a set, a set piece. It's, it's as simple as that. He can do everything else and that'll do for me. But he can't take set pieces. So Sonny, well, wow! I mean, during during the, the, the tournament with with South Korea, was, was incredible. I don't know. Maybe maybe a couple of the other new lads coming in might have a little trick up their sleeve, or maybe like work some set pieces, or you know, a little ball over the top, or something that can go for a draft excluder that everybody seems to lay down now. So. Uh, but as important as it is to try and nick something from these set pieces and corners as well. How many do we score from corners? I mean, it's just so few. It's ridiculous. So we do need to uh, work on defending them, which I think with a couple of new additions should be a bit better. And as you say, it was better last season. But um, yeah, Conte's obviously looked through some old videos and just thought to himself, well, where's the, the set piece one? Like, you know, and there's just this dusty old VHS at the back of the cupboard. Oh, here's the last one. <laughs> but we scored, like, you know, featuring Gareth Bow and Christian Eriksen and uh, 
and nothing nothing since then so uh yeah, it's it's just that somebody else within the team now that's looking at it. every every area now as a specialist, doesn't it? Everything, nutrition, fitness, sleep, um, uh, psychology, everything. I mean, just it's incredible the amount of jobs there must be within football now. Everything as a, a specialist area. So um, yeah, uh, let's let's see what what he does if he, if we. You know, if we nick five or six goals, if you can nick a set piece goal on 88 minutes uh, instead of losing one nil um, away as we did, where, where was we up north? It was a hell and a gal. Burnley, we wasn't it? Uh, Burnley, that, thank mm. you. Thank you. Do you know, I'd actually just flown into the UK uh, from, from Lanzarote and it was beautiful weather here. Left, came in and the next day I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a train up to Burnley. I'm going to go up there because I fancy this. We was just coming off the back of beating City, if I remember correctly. So I'm thinking to myself, yeah, yeah, I fancy this. We'll go up there, we'll get a hat full. The rain was sideways. It was like minus five. It was like a two-mile walk. It seemed to be uphill both ways to the train station. Went up there and got beat 1-0. I was so happy, honestly. So <laughs> if you can get a set-piece coaching to go and get you a point or win you all three, um, then that's paid for itself, isn't it? I reckon he's been watching Ted Lasso. I don't know if anyone's watched it, but if you do, <laughs> go and Google yourself the Lasso special. And uh, I reckon that's where Conte's got his inspiration from, getting a set piece of coaching. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might be right there, Jay. I think you might be right. Um, but no, it is very interesting times. Like you say, it feels like we're covering all bases at the moment. It's been very interesting to see what happens with right back, uh, whether we get another centre back in, who knows. Um, but it's going to be a very interesting uh, rest of the pre-season, shall we say. And it'd be quite nice to see some more players on their asses uh, once Conte's finished with them in pre-season. Um, 